Hey guys, um, we are here in Rochester, Minnesota, and we just wanted to take a second to give a quick update about his first appointment. Um, trip up was good. Um, we had a couple of snafus um, and some temper tantrums. You know, me throwing my food in the floor. I was just done with it. No, I'm just kidding. It was pouting. I was pouting. Um, no, I'm teasing. It was a lot of fun. Um, we got to just have a good adventure. It's been an adventure. So we got to see the doctor today and um it was uh informative uh he had a lot of questions took the information that we had and at this point what he is suspecting is that he did have viral meningitis um he said we know it wasn't bacterial because you wouldn't have made it and we're both like okay um but it sounds like maybe he had meningitis um and that what he's experiencing now is the post uh, effect he said doing a spinal tap at this point wouldn't do them any good in the risk of him because he's um, blood is too thin wouldn't do any good either so he said at this point he's going to rule out a few other things and make sure that there's not some other underlying and I guess in Springfield they didn't do an MRI the way that should have been done did. or something I thought it was done so um, so we are scheduled for some more testing they're going to do some more blood work see how his white counts doing and things of that nature and so um, his last set of tests is uh, Friday morning and so we're hoping that he will have um, his uh, test results and get some answers by the end of the day Friday um, also we're hoping and praying and we do ask that you make this a matter of prayer with us um, one of the things that he does wants to try is Botox um, so he's going to be looking good um, so he actually says that um, regardless of what started this headache it's, I called it a thunder clap headache where it just starts instantly um, regardless of what starts it he's gonna work toward treatment and the goal is getting him off of the Topamax so that he can return to work so this is what they're gonna try and they're trying to get it approved where they can give him his first set of injections before we leave this week so but we got to get insurance approved and you know how that goes so of course getting Botox I guess approved through insurance they want some details like is it just that he wants to look prettier is this a medical condition right. so right so we're hopeful that we can get that approved get that taken care of get the last test done and hopefully get some final answers and and he did tell us and warn us that there is a chance that he won't be able to tell us exactly what is going on right now um, but he will do everything in his power to try to make it better he did tell us to be prepared for the fact that it may never go away and this may be a lifetime of uh, medications or shots or whatever but we know that God is a healer and we know that whatever uh, path that we're on whatever's led us here we know that God will heal him from the top of his head to the toes of his feet and the tip of his toes and and me the same so we know that God has done amazing stuff in our life and he's not gonna stop now and nor are we gonna stop so um, this is also kind of gonna be a season for us or at least a few days of refreshing um, we're not chasing dogs or cows around which is nice um, he got to chase a cow around the plate last night in a steak but that's it <laughs> um, so he didn't have to feed it or anything so anyway and then Oscar wanted to share a little bit um, we just want to thank everybody that for most of all the prayers uh, thank everybody back home for the donations because uh, without that we wouldn't be here today thank yeah. uh, all the brothers and sisters from the unions that helped us uh, get here bail break for taking us uh, to the airport <laughs> before and, the chickens yes, were up. before the chickens <laughs> were up and thank you very much and again thank you for everybody from work that just um, donated and prayers to get us here today because without you guys we wouldn't be here so thank you very much we appreciate it yes and um and so you made it through without crying said he wasn't going to be able to so we love you guys so much we know we have a lot of love and support from our friends and family and um we know that again without you and your prayers and support and just love kind words uh, just all the things that you've done we are so grateful for um and we'll try to post either pictures or videos throughout the rest of the week so that we can kind of keep you guys up to date tomorrow is going to be a uh, kind of down day there's no tests assigned for tomorrow so um there's a couple of tours that the the hospital offers and i recommended maybe a day naked in the room kind of day but <laughs> that one's still up in the air so anyway so no matter what we're gonna find something to do and just rest and relax and recuperate so that when we get home hopefully we can jump back into things and and hopefully get this man feeling better back to work back to normal life as soon as Tomorrow possible be a start. No. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> we love you guys and we will talk to you soon Thank bye you. bye